Hello everyone, in this video we are going to look at a Python dictionary with some prices in it and we are going to add up all the prices which are the values so I'm not going to type it, I've already pre-prepared the dictionary so um, yeah I've called it prices but really it's that should be uh, products maybe so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import um, dict from type, so from typing and all it's doing is just doing type checking it's just good practice really um, import dict so there we go and we've got to um, let me just show you one thing first so what we're going to do is we'll do for val for values in prices uh, print prices dot get so we use get, we use dot get rather than the square brackets and the reason for this is if it returns nothing you don't get an error um, so let's just run that uh, we have got an error anyway <laughs> yeah why is that then um, full file in prices ah missing s there we go so what I've done is just got the values from the dictionary and printed them to the screen. Nothing exciting there, so um, let's get rid of that. So what we're going to do now is make a function and we'll call it um, get items and we're going to say items is a type dictionary or dict and we will return a float because we're dealing with money um, what we want to do is we want to add up all of the prices so we will say total price equals naught to start with and then we want to iterate through all of the prices or products <laughs> all of the key value pairs in the dictionary and we were uh, using the similar syntax to what we've already shown. We will say for val in for, so for value in the items dictionary, um, total price equals um, total price plus items dot get, and then we say val. So for, as it goes through, iterates through, and then it will get the value of each key value pair, and it will add it to the existing total price. And then we want to return total price. Okay, so that's our function. And to use it, we just need to say, um, I'm going to create a variable called price. Uh, price underscore total equals get items and into that we are going to pass our dictionary of prices in fact that should just really be called products but um, you get the idea and then we, we what we'll do is we'll um, if I just print price total we might find that it's not in the format that we really want and I'll just show you that. Um, okay, just comment that out. Run again. So yeah, I can remove that to be honest. What we're going to do is instead of printing as is, we'll format it. So I'll say create an F string and put that in some curly braces and to format it we do colon and then we say it's a two <laughs> floats to two decimal places so there we go run that and we've got an error format by specify a missing precision um, missed out the two and there we go, £5.40. So what we've done here is we've iterated through. Let's just change prices. 
Um, products. There we go. And we've iterated through the three products and we've used a function to get the values of the key value pairs and we've added those to the ones that we've already iterated through to get our total price. So the function returns total price. So price total and then we format it to give us pounds full stop and then pence or euros or dollars whatever your currency may be. So hopefully that's been interesting and um, yeah be back more with something equally interesting. Don't forget to subscribe and all that. Cheers. Thank you.